So our first guest today is a veteran rapper who we're absolutely glad that he's here with us today going by his recent health situation. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. let's make welcome to the show this afternoon, Idris Thank you for having me. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing good. To see it's so good, good to, to see, see you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Our prayers were with you, be and we are so glad because to... we kept taking the news, yeah, yeah. and uh, we're just so yeah. happy. Yes. Like <laughs> you need to see my heart right now. <laughs> I am so happy to about this. Thank Welcome you so back. Much. Thank, Thank you so much. Good Thank you guys. All right. So you've Thank been you training. Yeah. And of course, I saw your video. I watched your latest, uh, you know, song. Yeah. The one that you dedicated to your wife That's yesterday, right. That's right. Sakinat. That's yes, right. and I totally, absolutely <laughs> loved it. So from you. the intro to the last one, Thank and you, how yeah. you said you have buried your a part of you inside, inside of, me. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? It was oh, yeah. so emotional very, for very, me. Very, very, very emotional. Oh my gosh! So now we just want to, because of course we've been taking. People already know that yeah. you went through, yeah. you know, dialysis. You had yeah. kidney. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, issues yeah. and you know and you mentioned people in fact when you were yeah. mentioning names I'm yeah. like if I did not mention your name I I'm, beg no, no <laughs> and I'm, I was afraid because I'm like I hope you will not leave somebody's yeah, name out true. and you know I've it got a lot to say <laughs> welcome back all right so Thank you, you just want to tell us a brief history of this and of okay. course encourage people because you said that oh, yeah. you were not going for check -off oh, yeah. and you brought this oh, upon yeah. yourself and oh, all yeah. that so talk you to know. us okay so it was crazy actually so uh, maybe from um like about um, seven years ago, you know, I started feeling that something is wrong with my right kidney, you know. I always feel pains, you know. So I decided to go to the hospital. So doctor told me that uh, my kidney is very weak, that I need to be careful about it, you know. So, so stop drinking and smoking and all that. So um, about... Um, Two years ago, uh, I discovered that the pain increases, you know. Yeah. So I told my wife that I had to go to the hospital. So we went to the hospital and the um, doctor confirmed that I had stage four kidney problem. Wow. That the only thing I can do right now is to start dialysis. Yeah. And it could reverse it if I do the first or second one. Yeah. And if that doesn't happen, that they feel that the best option for me is to get a kidney transplant done, you know. So it was like, so my wife called a friend who had kidney transplant sometimes ago. So she was like, yes, that we should go and see Dr. Bamboye. Okay. So we booked an appointment and went to St. Nicholas Hospital. Mm. We saw Dr. Bamboye and he did all his checkup and all that. My wife was with me there and he said that, I hope they've told you that you have stage four kidney problem. I said, yeah, the best thing for you is a kidney transplant. So right there, I asked him, I said, so um, is it possible for the hospital to source for donors mm -hmm. for me? He was like, no, you have to bring your donor yourself. It has to be a family member, a brother, a sister, a father, a mother, a son or a daughter it has to be 18 and ab above wow. to 65 or a friend. Okay. So right there, my wife asked the doctor, said, can I be a donor for him? Wow. So the doctor was like, yes, you can if you are compatible. compatible. I was like, so how do I know that I'm compatible with him? He said, you have to carry out a couple of tests. Say, can I start that now? Mm. I was shocked. Wow. Right there, you know, so she's... That's selfless. Uh, yeah, yeah, very. You know, I was shocked. We never discussed this. We never say, said anything. So she did the first, second test, and we were compatible. We had about 15 more tests to go for. Mm. So carried it all out. Everything was okay. There was this last one on my dialysis bed. Doctor came and said, there's saw something in her that might make me to look for another donor if it is what it is. That, but she should go to so, so, so place to go and get the test done. I was so shocked. I was like, enemy, duck, devil is a liar. Huh. What last the hell? One. That was the last one, you huh. know? So we went there and she got the test done. Doctor took it and went to see a professor. And the professor was like, no, 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 no. There's nothing wrong with it. 
that sometimes ah. there are some growths that grow inside somebody. Mm -hmm. So it's not cancerous, it's nothing oh. that they should go ahead with the transplant. Oh, thank God. I was, that was when I had my <laughs> mind, you know, at peace. So um, we got home three days later, they called us from the hospital that um, the surgeons from uh, uh, Canada and India are around, so we should check in into the hospital. So me and my wife left. She was just in a hurry. She was like, let's, let's, let's get let's this thing done. Yeah. Let's get it done. She's, she's so faithful. She's, her spirit is so high. She mm. keeps telling me that don't worry, everything will be fine, you know. So we went in. And um, they took her to our room, took me to my room. Very early in the morning, around 8 o'clock, they took her to the theater and removed her left kidney and brought me to the theater. Uh, soon as I laid on the hospital bed, I can't remember anything anymore. Mm. I'm gone. Five hours later, it was pain that woke me up. Mm. You know, So it was pain. So I was screaming, can I have water, please? I'm tasty. Can I have water, please? I'm tasty. The nurses were like, no, sorry, you can't drink water till tomorrow. When I checked the time, it was 8 p.m. I was like, oh, my goodness. So like tomorrow to, was too far. Like okay. three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, where's my wife? Where's my wife? They said, she's fine. She's in the ICU. Mm -hmm. you know? So it was in the morning that they finally gave me water. And I was shocked when the doctor came and said, so you guys... You are free to eat whatever you want to eat now. I was like, wow. Well, just like just that? One day, Already? Wow. One day I was shocked. <laughs> like, like yeah. ah, eat, get out. I said, yes, you are free to eat whatever you want to eat now. You are new now, whatever you want to do. Congratulations to you. All your surgery oh, was successful. Yeah. So I said, please, I just want to see my wife. Oh. So then I went to bring her, you know. I was so happy. I thank her and pray for her and I appreciated her. For instance, what was going through my mind was, what if we were not compatible? Mm -hmm. I would still be at the dialysis center looking, looking for, for a donor. Looking for a donor. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Oh wow. Just, I just believe God loves me so much yeah. and gave me a second chance because I'm sure he still have a lot of plans for me. Yeah. Yes. I totally God, agree. God actually loves you yeah. and your wife loves you too. Yes, my wife <laughs> loves And we're too. really grateful for her <laughs> and we have noticed that you have left no stone unturned oh, yeah. to always appreciate her. Oh, like yes. every little thing you appreciate oh, her. Oh, your yes. wedding anniversary, yeah. it was all about her. And yeah. recently you dropped uh, a song yes, yes. titled Thank, Thank you, you, appreciating yeah. her yes. and her friends. Yes, yes. So what made you decide to do a song? Um, you know, that's what I, that's the best way I can express myself. Mm. And that's my job. You know, I felt like uh, dedicating a song to her will be priceless. Mm. You know, among other things that I'm still going to do. Yeah. You know, I cannot pay her back for what she has done. Oh. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. So, but every possible way, every little thing that I can do, I have to show my yeah. appreciation. Yeah. She's I mean, a I'm, great gem. I'm really um, very happy that uh, you pulled through. To God be the um, glory. Out of this, because there's been so many yeah. instances. It's where, crazy. You know, people don't even make it this it's far. It's crazy. I mean, personally, I lost my father to a heart situation. Oh my goodness! And they had to travel. They had to go to India, it's and crazy. he couldn't even make it. It's crazy. You know. So uh, my question is, in all this process, because people are always skeptical about having um, these procedures in Nigeria. Yeah. Right. They're yeah. very skeptical about yeah. it. But you had yours here. Oh yes. What was your experience like with the? It was. It was the best. Best thing. I mean. Dr. Bamboye is just a genius. So my advice is, if you have any kidney problem, your responsibility is to quickly look for a consultant. Your destination is St. Nicholas. Don't go anywhere. Mm. Reach out to Dr. Bamboye. Do all the necessary checkup you need to do. Don't go to India. Mistake people make is, you go to India, yeah. you get to do your transplant. Yeah. You don't go for checkup. You are supposed to be going for checkup every month. Yeah. They might say, okay, come the next every three months when you know you've done all your necessary checkup. Yeah. But you go to India, they give you drug that will last for one year. Mm -hmm. You don't go back to see the doctor that did the transfer and all that and you, yeah. you, yeah, you expect not to yeah. have problems. So you yeah. start updates. Yeah. For updates. So you mm. need to go for updates. So every month I had to go back to the hospital to, for them to check me, to check my criterion, if it's high or low, to know what they need to do. You understand what I'm saying? So before it was two weeks, yeah. now it's one month, mm. you know, so it could be six months 
after, you know. So that's, that's it. So, and, and Nigerians are very talented. We have Nigerian yep. doctors that are very, very talented. Yes. St. Nicholas have been doing this for the past 30 years and all their transplant has been very, very successful, yes. you know, and, you know, they, they treat all their patients very nicely. They encourage them that everything is gonna be fine mm -hmm. and truly everything was okay. The India surgeon woman is so nice and mm. so calm, very, very talented woman. I mean, she carried out approximately about 20 transplants. Wow. Friday, wow. Saturday, Sunday. Wow. wow. My gosh. A lot. Yeah. Wow. wow. You know, wow. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. You know, it's good so to know after that wake they have up, you know, expertise. after yes. transplant, you wake up in the morning, you know, after you've been moved to the ward yeah. to walk through the, just to exercise your yeah. body, you know, yeah. saw other transplant yeah. patients yeah. and all that. You know, so St. Nicholas, Nigerians are doing great. Yeah. You don't have they to are. travel out. Your destination yeah. is here. I mean, Jimmy Jack had his own in Nigeria too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, not to God be the glory. He definitely yeah. deserves oh, yes. yeah. the applause. Yes. 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 All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we still have the legend in the house. We'll go on a quick break and we'll be back with Idris Abukarim still right here with us. Oh, wow. I will always love Sakina. <laughs> that is really amazing. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We still have the veteran rapper Idris Abdul Karim in the building. Thank you. And so before we went on the break, you're wondering what video we're talking about. You just checked out the video. Yes. Thank you, where he thanked his wife for everything, for giving him a part of herself. And you were asking questions about, you know, the yeah, ward, the how they yeah. were this, um, so, getting the surgery done yeah. and yeah, all that. Yeah, so I noticed that you documented some parts yeah. and it was in the video That's and then right. the names you called. That's right. How were you able to compile all the names without missing any anybody's name? Actually, I didn't call everybody's name. So oh, that was a place okay. I said that if I didn't call your name, I'm sorry. Okay. You know, uh, but this song is dedicated to please. you all. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because it's thank you. you know, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, it's a no way. So, uh, you know. th there's this thing I've been wanting to ask, and yes. I'm actually glad you're here. Yeah. Because you have the experience. Yeah. So, every time, when we watch movies, and yeah. we hear about people needing body parts, yeah. we hear there's a waiting list and all of that. Mm. Yeah. But now, you're saying that you were told you should bring a family member and all of that, and yeah. your wife decided to do it. Yeah. People are always scared to donate part of their bodies for people even people they love yeah. because they're like what's the after effect what's mm. the aftermath what yeah. happens to me mm. yeah. so ever since this successful surgery yeah. how's your wife been please tell people out there yeah. who have people that they want to donate to but they're scared okay so um if you want to be a donor you're free to um because you can live with one kidney for the rest of your life you know you don't need two kidney you can live with one kidney for the rest of your life you know my wife actually immediately after the surgery she didn't take anything. She took only paracetamol for five days. Mm. Wow. And that's all. She didn't take any other medication. And she's, she's, been, and doing she's, doing fine. she's been doing fine. In mm. fact, she has resumed her basketball because she's a coach. Oh, basketball wow. coach, yeah. She has resumed her basketball training and she's playing very well and she's doing well. And she's not more feeling pains, mm. you know. That's she, very good. You, of course, you can still feel the anesthesia yeah. still there, yeah. you know, something because it will be way more, a little yeah. bit, a little, you know. So, so she's fine. She's okay. She's perfect. Okay. Uh, so I promise you, I'm not talking about Nigeria. I'm only <laughs> talking about your health. But this one, I would have to ask. Okay. So you know, uh, some people have just been wondering. Uh, uh, Idris, I'll come. I'm saying Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Oh, now he's now praising Nigeria, saying that oh, stay here. You can. This is your destination. You can have your kidney done right here because Nigerians are doing well. This that that that. that. I mean, you want to shed some light on that because of course people are asking questions. Nigerians are talented people. Yeah. Great people. We have great, talented doctors engineers, footballers, musicians. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only problem we have is bad leadership. Mm. Bad leadership. And the way it is, is the way I would say it. I don't compromise, and I'm, don't, I'm not looking at anybody's face. Mm. Even at present, Nigeria is still jaga jaga, whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's jaga jaga. Mm -hmm. Until we have a good leader that will come and turn it around. Mm -hmm. 
And to get a good leader, we need good followers to vote for the right mm. person. Yes. Like I said, I was telling OJ that I don't want to talk about politics at, at mm. all right now because my mood is Thanksgiving. Gratitude. You yes, understand what I'm saying? Yes. So if I start to talk about politics, well, I'm out one by <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Of so, course. you know, so there are great Nigerians out there. So imagine having a successful uh, kidney transplant done in Nigeria, yeah. when everybody feels that it's not possible yeah. to get it yes, done, that doing true. anything like that in Nigeria is like suicide, mm. that you should go outside. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, you're lying. Please go and see Dr. Ebu Bamboye and you'll be fine. Mm. Don't let mm. anybody tell you otherwise. You know what I mean? So the big problem we have is leadership. So Nigeria has to jaga jaga my darling. <laughs> So it's you the know, end for me. Do you know that Idris was actually calm? But once <laughs> I really know that Idris was actually calm. Yes, now. Because you don't look for my trouble. <laughs> yes, now. You know, no, no, no. That's what's up. Uh, it's a sad situation. I mean, we are blessed with everything, but, you know, we are not blessed with leadership. Mm. Every leader that you know how they just want to enrich themselves because it's their personal interest. Nigeria, I'm actually Ni tempted Nigeria to go, for them is for them. I am tempted not for to the go people. on and on because I would no. say that uh, it, our leaders are yeah. a reflection of who we, we are. are. That's yes, why, my darling. Of course. That's why, my darling. Okay, Indeed. before we go, um, I know that the, in your time, um, the entertainment scene, the music scene, the artists back then, you've, you had to sing about what's your reality you know, the situation in the country and That's all right. that stuff. That's right. Now, sitting back as the veteran that you are, how yeah. do you see the music industry right now? Well, the music industry is doing very well based on what we have done. Like, for example, the fight with 50 Cent yeah. is the reason why most of them are getting paid very well now yeah. and are respected all over the world, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, um, secondly, it is also important that the new generation need to understand that music is not just for Mary Mary. Yeah. Music mm -hmm. is a tool for you to be able to express and speak mm -hmm. for the community mm -hmm. yeah. because that's the responsibility that you must pay back to your community. Mm -hmm. And because they love you, it is your responsibility to always speak for them, True. not just for yourself and not all about the booty and booty all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what's up. Fantastic. Thank you. I wish we could actually go on and on, but we really want to say a very big thank you to your thank wife. You. Thank you so yes. much. Yes, Hello, we Yami appreciate Yami. her <laughs> for yes. Yes. Thank, yes. Thank, you. thank you. I love you, my darling. That's a very beautiful one. I want to thank say a very so big thank you to you for coming. Thank you, uh, We are really thank happy you. for your life. Thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate you guys. Yes. Thank all you so much. Right,